This is certainly not the kind of weather that we would normally associate with harvest season, right? But it is just that in East Lake at Buckeye Relief. The first harvest for level one or large scale marijuana cultivators in our state. And our Tara Molina has been tracking this story for years. Back when the plant was just an idea for the land the old senior center stood on. And now she gives us an inside look at how the fully functioning plant is operating and what it all means to Northeast Ohio. 6,000 square feet, 1,300 plants, and hundreds of thousands of dollars pumped into the East Lake community. Today we're giving you a first hand look at Buckeye Relief as they prep for harvest. From a vacant plot of land in a city that was in need of an economic boost to a multi-million dollar facility among the very first of its kind in Ohio. The medicine is in the, the flower. This is the now fully operational Buckeye Relief. We'll go through trimming, curing, all of that and gearing up for harvest. And it'll be processed into like oils, and other medicines. They're one of 12 awarded with provisional licenses to operate level one cultivation facilities, the largest of the 26 total growers in the state. Buckeye Relief earned the top score in the state's application process. We're first to pass state inspections and plant cannabis seeds over the summer, and now they'll be the first large scale cultivator to harvest. And the dispensaries aren't even online yet. Cleveland native owner Andy Rayburn, passionate about being a pioneer in the state's industry. Some people haven't bought into the idea of medical cannabis yet. In what he will only refer to as medicine. And when they bring that up with me, I just point out experiences like the one I had a couple days ago talking to a young man with Crohn's disease since childhood who tried everything, all the drugs, all the treatments, nothing worked for him. He said he started vaporizing cannabis a couple of years ago and his symptoms are relieved. But the growth isn't just happening in the plant's three flower rooms. You know, it's a win for the city. It's a many, many millions of dollars positive impact for, for both uh, the state and for cities like Eastlake. A data firm projects Ohio's medical marijuana industry could generate more than $1 billion a year annually by 2025. Reporting inside Buckeye Relief tonight, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.